Hey there, welcome. I'm Damien and I'm just another starving artist on the internet. And now I'm gone. I have decided to not show my face as much in these videos unless it actually serves a purpose. And I wanted to do this, to do this much earlier, but because of the previous videos were recorded from Twitch streams, uh, my face was there anyway, so yeah, but not anymore. And with that out of the way, let's get on with the video. So this is the ninth entry of my character design journal, and in this video I will be designing a rather weird character, if you think about the ones I have been designing up to now. And I have to talk a little bit about the backstory for this character, so his design actually makes sense. And as usual, this character's name is a reference to something else, in this case Galenus of Pergamon. He was a Greek philosopher who pioneered experimentation in animals to improve medical knowledge for humans. Yes, yes. I know the whole testing an animal thing is a controversial topic that this channel is not about. But we're talking about someone that lived over 2000 years ago. But that will actually tie up with the character's backstory, because he is a doctor and he was experimenting on the creatures that humans are fighting against in my story. I will talk more about these creatures in future videos, where I'll be designing them. But let's focus on this character for now. So one of his experiments went really wrong and kind of turned himself into one of these creatures. So when designing this character, I'm actually designing three different ones. The one you see me designing right now is the first one that will appear in the story. Galenus waking up in a humanish form several centuries after that experiment I mentioned earlier. Now, I was told by Simon Friends after designing him that he looks like a Dr. Stone character. And at the time I didn't quite see it, but no, yeah, uh, they were right. It, it looks like a Dr. Stan character. And it makes sense, uh, I mean, it's a character that in a way has been unconscious for several centuries and then wakes up and just makes clothes with whatever he finds around. The second appearance he will have is at the moment one and only one pencil sketch that I'm showing on the screen right now. This is his, um, let's call it monster form for now, okay? As he sort of develops a form of lycanthropy with multiple personalities, uh, this form will be called Darmacus, in line with the ancient Greek name of Galenus. Darmacus is the name of one of the oldest werewolves we have written records of. But this monster form will have its own video in the future, so I will save most of the details about it for when I actually make that one video. Neither of these two forms will be completely human or monster, though. As you can see, I'm adding some um, animal features to the human form, like the antlers, sharp nails, uh, you can see here some fans, and obviously the way he stands on his toes, like a deity grade. Okay, let me explain this a bit more in detail. It's biology class time. So I'm gonna draw some legs, and um, yeah, this is a plantigrade. This is a person's leg, Be, uh, humans are plantigrades. This is a deity grade and an unguli grade. So we humans have our heels on the floor. This bunch of bones here that I'm painting in red are our heels and they are touching the floor. That's plantigrades. Uh, deity grades and unguli grades have their heels pointing upwards. Then we have a group of bones called metatarsials. I've heard some people call them metapodia as well. I'm not sure what, what the difference is. And other animals also have them not touching the floor. What I'm painting in green right now are our toes, our digits. Digit is Greek for fingers or toes. That's why digiti grades are called digiti grades because they work on their toes. And then here in purple I'm painting the nails. Yes, this is a horse leg. Horses walk on their nails. As weird as that may sound. Okay, now going back to character design. The monster form, on the other hand, doesn't really have that many human things going on. It has those human arms on its neck. It will be capable of speech and have human-like intelligence. However, that design may still change drastically since uh, it's only a very early sketch on paper. And right now I am quite happy with how the first sketch came out, but I don't know what may cross my mind between now and when I actually work on this design in due time, so it may completely change. Now going back, back to the human form, it doesn't necessarily make it more animal-like, but I added those red markings all over his body. They don't follow any strict geometrical or symmetrical pattern. I tried a few different designs on his face and on his body as well. I didn't really like how the face ones looked, so I just gave up on them. And I also tried to give him animal ears of some kind, just to make it look more animalistic, I don't know. I thought it could look really cool, but I also gave up on that because it wasn't, it, it really wasn't working. There's also a plot reason for why his hair becomes white in this form. 
but that is a little bit too big of a spoiler, so I will keep that to myself, just for the time being. Finally, there is the last look, appearance, or form, and I don't really know what to call it at this point, if I'm honest. Can't really call it an outfit because his whole physical body changes, but it feels wrong to call it a transformation for some reason, to me. I just hope you understand what I mean. But anyways, the last one is seen on a flashback of when he was just a normal human, so comparatively this version is far less interesting than the other two, because he's just a human, and I didn't even bother finishing him. It's, it's just a sketch and it's not even a full body sketch, it's just, yeah. I just started working on the next character and I didn't finish this one. So let's just have a look at the finished drawing. So here we have the two human forms of Kalenos, and as I said before, I'll talk about his monster form in a different video in the future. The flashback version isn't even finished, I mean, it's just a dude with a lab coat on and I feel I can do a bit more than that, so I will definitely work on his design later. As for the other one that is actually done, I try to keep the colors on the warm side, leaning a bit towards brown to make the whole design look more natural and wild. Even the greens around his belt have a slight brown hue, and then the white fur and hair acting as a sort of highlight accent color, because otherwise the browns will overtake the design in a very, not very appealing way. Everything else has already been said during the video, but I know what you're thinking. Why the antlers? Well, uh, spoilers, just trust me, they make sense in the narrative. And now that is the end of the video, if you like what I do, give it a like, subscribe, and you know, all the things that make the algorithm happy. Make sure to check my other social media in the description below, and I'm always open to suggestions and constructive criticism, so just let me know what you thought about this character in the comments, and as always, stay creative, keep drawing, see you next time.